Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give honor to God who's head of my life and to the Father who's holy, righteous, and just in all of his ways. Thanking God. Thanking God. Hallelujah. For him being God. Man, the, where would any of us be? Even in the midst of turmoils and the downs and the disappointments, without God's plan for our lives, without him orchestrating, building a bridge so humanity can get back to him, as the old generation, the generation before us and before them, and they said, where will we be without Jesus? Mm. Thank God for being the head of my life. My, my, my. I am saved. Yes. I love God. Amen. Yes, sir. I have the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. I love God. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. Hallelujah. I'm excited about this word. And to the Father who knows best. Better than I know for myself. Praying that I walk within his plan. Yes. To our my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he who became my propitiation, paid the price I could not pay. Good God Almighty. And today that means so much to me right now that Jesus paid a price I could not pay. My, my, my. Thank him for being my Lord and my soon coming king. My big brother who allowed me to call his daddy, daddy. I can cry out, Abba, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, if we could all just make a little noise to make them feel welcome Amen. as we talk about Hallelujah. none other than the third person of the Godhead that we call the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost do all kind of things, man. Thank you, Jesus. I was I uh, had some free time and I and um, I said, Lord, is there any way you would like me to go? Is there anyone you would like me to talk to? Some way you would want me to go to pray for someone, to do something, to bring glory to you? And I'm gonna tell you, this was an unbelievable experience. All of a sudden, my phone rang. Well, not all of a sudden, but a few minutes later, my phone rang. And I seen who it was and I began to, you know, answer the phone and he said, were you trying to call me? Wow. I, look, look, first, it must, look, I'm telling you, it must have been my spirit reaching mm -hmm. out to his spirit. Mm -hmm. And I was connecting God reaching out mm -hmm. because I, I said, oh, I'm sorry, I must have accidentally dialed you. Mm -hmm. And then I was talking to him and we was having just some great fellowship and Begin to talk to my wife for a while, and then I went look back on my phone. I, he, I didn't have a call. I didn't call him at all. But he somehow received a call. Come on, come on, oh my God. And, and sometimes we got to get excited about when God give us those type of connects. Come on, come on, come on. yes sir. That when God reminds you that I got people yeah, that's in your life yeah. that loves me just as much as you love me or oh, as much as you yeah. think you love me and that can get in contact with me on your behalf, I, man, it is so good. Yes, sir. Oh, it is so wonderful that all my Christian connections are not just in JCF. Hey, that part. That part. Thank God I could reach somebody outside yeah. of yeah. JCF yeah. And, yeah. and get in contact with because sometimes... And um, I've seen churches go through things. And they, sometimes you need somebody outside of. That's right. To get in contact with God for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you're in something, let's say, let, 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 let's use, let's use uh, jail. When you're in jail, 
but they didn't allow you to make no phone call. But somebody knew you was in jail. Come on. And the somebody called somebody else who can get you out of jail. Yeah. Man, I'm so glad that when all kind of circumstances may come, we have other people we could call to reach out. Yes, uh huh. We, there's one body of Christ, not two and three and four and five and six and seven. Amen. There's Amen. one body of Christ. We are brothers and sisters. Amen. I love it because you know this brother that reached out, that, that thought I was calling him, I was, but he, he reached out and you know, he's a reformed Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. His whole family was Muslim, but he came to Christ Come on. and he filled with the Holy Ghost yeah. and he speaks in tongues. Do you yes, understand? Sir. Hallelujah. Do you understand the miracle just in that alone? God loves us. Amen. Thank God for the angels camped around doing the bit of the Father. Man, they do a great job. High five, your angels. Thank God. Today, some of you are saying, and some of you might have some questions and you're saying, I believe God showed up, but he's not saying nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. Come on, speak, Lord. He's, I believe he showed up. I told him to come in. He took a seat, but he ain't saying nothing. Oh my God, Lord have mercy. I don't know what to do with that. I need some help. I don't want to call pastor and tell him something so crazy. For first, why would it be crazy? God showed up and took a seat. <laughs> he didn't get straight to business. <laughs> Sometimes God is giving us space to handle things so that when he do start talking, our business is in order. My God. We are obligated and we have the responsibility to this world to offer them Jesus Christ like they have never known him before. Amen. And God is looking to pour into us. And he's trying to bring forth a move in this generation mm -hmm. that this generation had not experienced. Matter of fact, let me tell you, Brother James, he called me. And he said, Timothy, there's about to be a move of God. Come on. Mm -hmm. yes, he said, it was so good. I, I said, you need to tell this to my wife. I, 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 let, I need my wife to hear this. I don't want to hear. I don't want to give it to her. I don't need you yeah. to give it to her. I said, and, and he began to tell us, he said, there's about to be a move of God. Yeah. And the waves are going to be the size of tsunami, tsunami. waves. Mm -hmm. Come on, and it's going to be a continual thing. And the way that precede the one before will be greater. They will continually getting greater and greater and greater. And I believe it. I believe that there's about to be a great wave of God moving. He's about to use us to get the hand of Satan off of people uh -huh. who don't want to be bound. See, hold on, hold on, good God, oh my God. good God, I, I need to Did say I that show. again. He's about to use us mm -hmm. to get the hand of Satan off of people who don't want in to be bound. In the name of Jesus, bound. in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Some of us are saying and we are and you're thinking, how is that going to happen? Yeah, that I Thank you, Jesus. Jesus did amazing things with twelve. He did. Can we be elevated to there's twelve of us? Mm -hmm. Or can God give me a team of twelve? then we would look just like the Israelites, for there are 13 tribes. <laughs> yes, sir, I know your Bible. Come on. I, know, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> know the Bible. There are 13 tribes. So if we, could, if we could get 13 of us, isn't 13 a bad number? Who told you that? Huh. 
Friday the 13th, I thought I taught about that and I told you and I told you exactly what that was. Huh? That's when freedom came to God's people <laughs> and the world called it bad. My, my, my God. See, you, you got to quit letting the world tell you your weather report. My God, my God. You, we, 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 it's time out for us believing what the, what the world is saying. Men of God of old, and when I say of old, I'm talking about in this 19th century. These men of God, a lot of them would not listen to news or read newspapers because why? Someone was controlling what's get out. Somebody's controlling what you read. So they would not read newspaper. Why? Because they wanted to believe the report of the Lord. Not the report of man. My God. See, if we don't start growing in God in ways where people... It, look, it, if your growth in God don't make people uncomfortable, we might not be growing the way God wants us to grow. Mm. When people... When, when humans grow in God, it makes other humans who don't want God uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Just let them know I'll be here when you get ready, when you need some God. God has come and he's not saying anything. It's because our work needs to be done. Amen. Some of us are trying to hurry up and get things in order and place things where they need to be. I'm here to let you know that God will require at our hands more than he give us. That's good. Mm -hmm. God is a God of growth. That's right. If God give you a million dollars, at the end of your life, God is not requesting, is not, will not require a million dollars at your hands. He will require more. That's right. That's right. Jesus Christ talked and taught more about money than anything. That's right. But I'm going to tell you why he taught more about money than anything. Allow me to give you, saints of God, the title and subtitle of today's message. The value of my vow wow. Wow. is based upon my true worth not something somebody have built you up and fluffed you up i'm talking about the things that people could really count on so when you tell god something god is not listening to uh hyperbole he's not looking he's not listening to uh information that is suspect but he's looking at you and he's valuing you. There is a worth that you are worth. And the enemy job is to devalue you. God has come to increase your value. And then require at your hands more than you are valued. My God. My God. If someone has the exact same thing. So they have what they have. Their talents, gifts, singing ability, write ability, uh, pain ability, whatever you deem to be creative. Uh, engineering ability, whatever. Scientific ability, whatever. And you do nothing with it. God is going to require at your hands, why didn't you use this gift? Mm -hmm. He's going to ask you, why didn't you use this gift? See, because a lot of gifts that God has given us is not just for in the church. Yeah. It is for us to go out That's right. so we can, what, establish the church. That's right. And have what? And put us and make us prominent so we can influence those that are in darkness to come to his marvelous light. Yeah. And if you have just what you started with, you had nothing. My God. Did he not give us that the intelligence when he, Jesus gave the story of the three servants and the master went away and he gave uh, one, uh, one servant two talents, 
one servant five talents and one servant one talent. And the one who had the one talent dug it in the ground, buried it, and when the, when the master came back, he had that one talent. Mm -hmm. God is looking for how have you increased what he's put in your hands. Yeah. Jesus talked more about money is because you want to know why? We put value on money. That's right. There's a rapper, he says, really it's nothing but paper. But the paper ain't worth nothing, but it's the values and the resources that you get from the paper. So, are Christians valuable to the world? Wow. That's good. Wow. But I have a better question. Are Christians valuable to the church? My God. Have we increased the value of the church by increasing our value? Subtitle, what is your word worth? Hmm. Wow. When you make a vow unto God, and let me tell you, some of us are saying, oh man, I can't remember the vows unto, that I made unto God. Here, let me tell you where you need to go. I'm going to put you exactly where you need to be because every vow has been made here. We never make vows when everything is good. Lord Jesus. Come on. We make vows when things are terrible, mm -hmm. when things are when we are at our lowest point, when everything is going wrong. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, we're making a deal with God. God, if you do this, if you get me out of this, uh -huh. if you help me stop this, find your low point, mm -hmm. and you gonna remember your vows. That's wow. Fine when you didn't have money, when you couldn't shop, when you wasn't putting food on the table, mm -hmm. when you wasn't able to keep a job, when you wasn't have peace in your home. Find your low spot. Mm -hmm. Find your low spot when you couldn't drop weight, My when you couldn't grow hair. Find your low spot. Sweet, sweet Jesus. When you couldn't, Come on. when you couldn't be speak peacefully to neighbors. When you couldn't get joy when you was in church. Find your low spot. And remember what you said then. Because maybe God is ready to collect on your vow. My God today. Well. As we. And Jesus talked about money because he wanted to talk about value. He wasn't wanting to talk about money. That's right. Because money was invented by man. Mm -hmm. Money didn't exist for thousands of years. They had gold and silver and they had this and that. But this paper money that we know and all of, you know, the currency, they didn't, that, that didn't exist. But how did the world, how did they, how did they do their commerce? They knew what was valuable. That's right. Bartering trade. That's right. Trade, bartering. This is worth this. This how come when I was a kid in the 70s, we've heard the border example of, I will give you four chickens for a goat. Mm -hmm. I would give you two goats for a calf. Mm -hmm. I'd give you two calves for a bull. Yeah. I'd give you 12 chickens for a heifer. Mm -hmm. We heard these, especially if you had some country bringing up. Because people always didn't have the cash money. Come on. But they had things of value. value. Yeah. Right. Come on. That's good. And one thing that I remember as being a kid that everybody had a value. Every man had his word. Come on. Come on. That at his word, men would give him things. Mm -hmm. And because his word was out there, he went back and paid or made good on what he said. Yeah. Or what she said. 
Now, they want to know everything about you. And everything about 12 of your friends. Mm -hmm. They definitely want to know your mama's address. Yeah, but I brought my paycheck stub. That don't mean that. Listen. There are people that's worth million that don't pay their bills. Well, there are people that make hundreds of thousands monthly that don't pay their bills. Mm -hmm. Just because you make money, this doesn't mean that you're responsible. Come on. And God is saying, look, quit asking me for money when you're not responsible. Well. And quit asking me for things when you ain't you ain't kept your word to me yet. God, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to witness to this person. I'm going to stop doing this. I'm going to fast. I'm going to pray. I'm going to seek you. I won't be doing this no more. I won't be doing that no more. And if you look at your life, you're doing it. And you maybe you have increased the things that you said that you was going to stop. So in actuality, your word is worth nothing. Listen. So your vows have fallen to the ground. Well, I ask God to forgive me of that. Oh. Hold on, hold on, look, 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 look. Don't take this wrong, but I want you to take it. Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. Come on, get in the book. Get in the book. You opened your mouth to the Lord. That part. <laughs> and you think that now that you're out of what you was in, oh my God. he did his part, but you're not going to do yours? My God, my God. That's good. See, like single people, when you get married, one question you should ask the person who's trying to, to date you what vows have you made to God? That, ooh, that's good teaching. Man, man, man. Ooh, that's man. good teaching. Because you might be the one to help them pay that vow. My, my, my God. Yeah. Well. Come on here. Where my are? wife have went through hell mm -hmm. because I told God I don't want to preach Mickey Mouse messages. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to learn from experience. I wanted some oh. experience. And boy, yeah. look, 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 look. Not me. Did we get them? Listen. <laughs> Why? Because we was connected. Sometimes you need to be careful because you need to make sure what the vows people made that they have not kept to God because when God comes and look, yes, sometimes he's knocking at, and knocking at your, yes, he definitely knocked at your door to bless, but before I bless you, I'm going to collect what you owe me. Come on, man. Oh my God. My God. You told me, look, look, Ooh, I got it. Cool. it was free will. This is nothing I forced you to do. You didn't like your position. You didn't like what your situation. You didn't like how it was, what was going on. You lifted your...